Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is part five of mean stack auth series, and uh, this is one of the most important part I can say that in the mean stack series because today we are going to cover something about uh, JSON Web Token. Okay, so we are going to create a token after success whenever there is a, uh, we are trying to log in, right? So we have to create a token for that particular user, and uh, this token is very important because this is going to add the security to your API, okay? So whenever we need to add a level of security in your web application, so we always go ahead and create a JWT token, okay? And this is a very standard in all the companies. If you see, a lot of people are using JSON Web Token, okay? So in this today's video, we are going to see how we can create a JSON Web Token in your Node.js project, in a mean stack project, okay? Okay, so if you want to have, uh, know, uh, like want more information about JSON Web Token, so I have already created a video here in my, my, um, in my .NET full stack course, like where I have created this auth series, right, in .NET framework, in, in sorry, in .NET course. So I have explained about the JWT, what JWT is and why it is important. So you can go and watch this video. Also, I have a dedicated video created for JWT authentication here. So I have explained it in detail about what is a token, why it is important and what not. Okay, so in this video, we are going to see for the Node.js project. So that's what I'm going to do now. So Step number one is we have to install this uh, this package JSON Web Token, which will help us to create the token for us. Okay, so it is very easy in Node.js to be honest. So copy this and let's go in your Node.js project. Go in your folder of API. Always be sure that you are in this API folder. Okay, and Control V and install this package. Okay, so once the package is installed, so now you can use that in your controller. Okay, so when do we create a token that's a very important step okay so whenever the login is success right then only we create a token okay so to create the token right first thing we have to import it so the package what we have installed we will first go and import it so this is import jwt from json web token and now you can use this jwt <clears throat> so here it is so once the login is success and whenever i'm sending a response so before that okay so before that I have to create my token. Okay. So before that, I have to create my token. So let's create a token. So I'll say here const token equals to JWT, JWT dot sign. Okay. So this is the method and this method accepts a payload. Okay. It accepts a private key and it accepts some options. Okay. And there is also an algorithm what you can pass. Okay. What kind of algorithm you are expecting. Okay, so what we will do here, right? So first of all, we have to pass the payload. Okay, so payload, so passing it, right? So what we will do, right? So this is how the payload will look like. Suppose if you want to pass the user ID so that you can also pass. So for example, here I can say ID as a user dot ID. Okay, you can also pass if that guy is admin. So I can say is admin or yeah, you can check that. So by saying admin, by actually getting it from the user dot is admin. Okay, you can also get the roles. So you can get roles by saying that roles. We just have it on the top. Okay, so we can also check for the user roles if that guy has any. Okay, so if you want to get this roles right, so how can you get that? So if you see here, we have this const user. Okay, and you already know that we have a relationship uh, here, right? So we have this roles relationship with our roles uh, collection, real schema. Okay, so now this is the time how we can use that. So what we will do, right? So now to get the role, so we have to populate. So we have to populate the role. So for that, what I will do here, I will say here dot populate. Okay, and this is the method given to us by the mongoose. Okay, so this populate, right? So in that, you have to pass two things, the name of your path, so which is roles okay and in that what you need you need a role right so you'll just say role okay so role you will get inside this so this is the guy which is the reference if you remember this is the reference of that particular schema so this is what i'm going to call okay now once i have this role inside this so now this user will also consist of roles okay so now what i will do i'll try to destructure it so by saying const const roles okay this will be coming from user so in the user i have the roles also and that role i'm trying to restructure it here okay and now this role i can pass it here all right so whatever user role we have i'm passing it in the payload of my jwt token and the next thing what you need is you need a secret right so you need a secret key so you can add it here very very secret 
like this or what best you can do is you can store it so as you know that we are storing all the configuration in .env file so here what you can do you can just store your JWT secret so you say JWT secret equals to you can say very 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 secret key you can give any secret key okay and this i will be using it in your uh, auth controller so i will go here and say process process dot env dot your name of that variable what how you have stored okay so i have a payload and i have my secret okay so by these two values we are going to create my token for this particular user okay so once the token is created right all we need to do is we just need to send the response okay and what we will do right we will send this token directly to the user okay so there are two ways of sending it so first way is you can send it directly in the payload and the second way is you can send that token in the cookie okay so in this video we are going to see how we can send the token in the cookie all right so let's just remove this for now this line so let me remove it and what i will do here now that whenever i'm sending the response i'll say response dot cookie okay response dot cookie and in that i will give the cookie name as access token access token okay and in that i will have passed the token okay so this is the token i want to send and i will say here that http okay http only so whenever there is a http call it will append that particular token there so http as true so http only i made it as true and now i can send the response i'll say dot status status i will send as 200 and in the json i will send in the json i can send the response like this so first thing is your status so my status is 200 okay i will send my message can send the message as login success and for example if you want to send some data you can send data as well of the user so you can send the user okay but one thing is okay it's fine let's send the data like this and let's save the changes okay so now what will happen right so whenever your login is success right so in your cookie your token will get stored okay and this will send the response so let's try to test it so now if i go here for this user john at the gmail.com if i try to send can you see i'm able to see all the records okay so can you see i'm able to get the status login success and the data okay so one thing to note here that the roles i can see the roles as well and why i'm able to see the roles like this because i have populated it okay so in entity framework there is something called as dot include so we use that but here in node.js we have this not in node.js it is in mongoose so because here entity framework is an orm in dot net but in node.js this is the what the orm we are using which is the mongoose and mongoose gave this method called as populate so because of this populate i am able to see the role as well as an array so this roles can have two roles so but currently it is only one so this is an array of object which has only one which is user okay we can assign multiple role also to this user whose name is john but we will see that later so that's what it is so, and now the one thing to look at here is but where is the token okay so in the postman you can see there's a cookie here and you can see i got an access token here and with the value this so if i copy this all if i copy this let me just try to copy it copy it and let me go in the jwt.io website and let me show you how what is my payload look like so if i paste it here so can you see i'm able to see the id of the user if that guy is admin or not i can see the role what i have passed okay and this will have my expiry also so for by default it is taking your uh, one day expiry i suppose so that's what it has okay so we can also set the expiry time so based on your whatever time you need okay but this is what i have my jwt so this is what i wanted to explain you about how can we add your payload and how we can make this the secure okay so you can see this is a signature verified so we can see that this is signature base 64 encoded okay that's why so this is the perfect token what we have created from the node js and we are sending the token in in the cookie okay so this is the benefit okay and we will see how we will be using this cookie when we will using angular to create the front end okay so that will be more interesting to learn all right so in this way we have seen like how we can easily you make use of this jw package to create a json web token whenever the login is success okay and the next video we are going to see how we can make use of this token to verify our api endpoints okay so that thing we will see in the next video
So that's it from this today's video where we have learned about how can we create a token by using this JSON web token package. And if you still have any questions or if you need to like get to know more information about this token and stuff, so you can mention me, you can connect with me on Telegram, LinkedIn or anywhere, any social platform. I will be putting them in the description. You can connect me there and, and you can ask your question to me directly. Okay. And, and if you like this video, then do give it a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe to my channel for more such content. Okay. So till that time, bye bye and keep learning guys.